Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is proof and please like, share and subscribe to the channel. Ring a bell for more videos and yeah, definitely become a member so you donate every month and change the world together. Okay, today it's Father's Day. We celebrate the mothers who raised good fathers out there to be able to raise good kids and be in real families out there. So today let's talk to the mothers who are raising boy child. I mean, it's really a right thing if you have a child, a boy child, and you give them good advice every time, but you know, yes, it's nice when you raise a boy child with love from the beginning, you know? You don't differentiate between a girl and a boy child because according to me, we are all equal and the same. Think of it like this. Um, a woman and a man were created equally. So in every human's body, we have a male and a feminine energy. You see what I mean? So now, if you treat a girl like a girl, 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 though she has a masculine energy in her, and you disregard a boy, still the boy having a feminine energy in him, and being masculine, more like a feminine, a feminine energy is more like emotion side of things, like being able to cry, being able to deal with emotions and all that. While the masculine side is being able to stand up for yourself, you know, being able to do things for yourself, like do a garden, boy stuff, that things that are called or classified under boy stuff, guys. So, according to me, we are all equal. So, immediately when you balance those emotions in your body, yeah, you really can do anything without having to be said, like, no, you're a child. You're a girl child or you're a boy child. A whole lot of boys out there can cook. Yeah, and a whole lot of girls out there can do gardens, guys. So, that's why, I mean, for me, we are all equal in God's eyes, guys, you see. So now, I want to talk to these women who be raising guys like, no, treat these women like no babies. Use these women because this is how the world is. You see, so I realized that it doesn't matter what education you have between your ears. It's how you use your information, guys, you know. Can't be raising a boy child and hating on other women because their father was beating on you or their father divorced you or their father was cheating on you. No. If the world broke you and you're raising a boy child and you're giving them all these advices and all that, at the end, they break down. Because of you. Because of you. Because you know, a mother is really a powerful thing in a child's life. You share maternal instinct. So, immediately when you advise your child wrong because his father was beating up on you or his father was treating you less because you couldn't value yourself. Yeah, like that's where you get it all wrong, guys, you know? You can ab abandon your child. You can do whatever you want, but don't advise a child wrong. Let's say you've been raising a child and you have a problem with the child because of their father and you're taking it out on a child. When the child grows up and gets a girlfriend and want to get married, you still want to control these chicks, these children and, sorry, these children and their partners in their life. You see, so like why would you want to control a child to the point where you would control even their relationship? I mean, if you are a wise woman, you would let a child experience their own mistakes and live their life. So we learn from that, right? Yes, but a whole lot of women are out there focused on their children's life. So to destroy their partnerships and their marriage and all that, for what? Because they couldn't uh, progress with their lives and their partners, you see. That's why now they are going to be destroying the next generation. You know, my child can't go like, out with that woman. 
whom my child can only date three kids, two women and not really be serious about that this is really a problem guys like if you guys your child not to be serious in a relationship with another woman or another woman's child don't let them go out anymore or don't let them go out at all because you are ruining their lives right how are they going to be better fathers out there tomorrow because you are ruling them like let's say your boy now starts going out makes somebody pregnant you don't know how that started you really don't know how that started because it happened to them with the two of them and then for you to get in and try and say you are correcting mistakes what mistakes because sometimes when people meet things are supposed to be the way they are before the parents interference because according to me parents interferences you just gonna abuse their rights by controlling the child's life you see no you can't go out like that no you can't date no you can't commit no you can't do that no that is wrong that is wrong for you to take your child to the healers out there and possess them give them the spirit of love and leave them and go around and be telling themselves that they are handsome so they can date however they want no you're wrong because at the end of the day you are killing this child your son who's supposed to be a father out there tomorrow and where would you be at because you're going to be very very old and crooked and ugly because ugly people yeah it's made from having an ugly heart guys you know so don't you think it's time we build a better future i mean our previous mothers they couldn't do this raise better fathers out there that's why our community needs to grow we need to grow up guys you know because our parents some some of our parents just went to school for nothing i mean like to my eyes if i see somebody be telling me oh, i'm a teacher and all that or i'm a nurse and all that like yeah you are a nurse and all that but what is in between your ears are you smart or are you just doing things out of vanity or are you going to be doing things because of your status no my child can go out with that woman my child can go out no i have to arrange a marriage for my child let me like you our kids they always pick up from the bad bins ever like why would you want to say that about somebody else's child are you god do you rule the world huh no women it's time we act right out there especially like when you know you have a boy child out there yeah you don't have to give him a blessing that they are dating on people or not it's not really about the blessing it's nothing got it's got nothing to do with you you know because nobody interfered in your previous life why do you have to interfere in another woman's life so you think they are a child yeah everybody started being a child right i mean there is nothing wrong with having a partner and starting their own family right so yeah like today i want to talk to these women who think that they rule the world you know we're gonna tell their kids hey hey they this they that but in the first place they don't know how these things start you know they don't know how these things start especially with these guys going out to destroy other girls lives as you see like oh no this girl is really focused on her life and then a guy just comes and be like hey i want to marry you promising them and them the whole world and all that and the next thing no it's all a lie make you pregnant and their mothers get involved now hey you trapped my son hey hey you wanted to do this no they didn't they're the one who approached the girl in the first place right so why are you interfering mama zala hey why are you interfering mama zinlo huh i mean do you know how this whole thing really started you really know how this whole thing started if you are a parent and you're really smart give your kids a very smart advice on how to live life not just to date people three months two months and leave no that's very wrong it's actually destroying yourself you know you destroy your own family by giving your own kids the wrong advice what is that why don't you just seclude yourself from the whole community if you don't want your kids to be dating and all that and yeah go live in the zoo or something huh 
Don't you think it's the best thing ever you can do for yourself? Yeah, because there's nobody special here. Okay? We're all the same. We are all the same. And yeah, people should really realize that in this world, there's apples, there's bananas, there's any kind of race in this world. Communities, anything. We are here. We are all different. And it doesn't matter what your child picks on or who to go out with or not. It's not about you. It's not about you. Though you think you share the same ancestors and all that and whatnot. Like, no. No. Your child is not made of you alone. You're not a mum who brought a child on this, in the, on this world alone because this child had a father. Yeah, they are father's ancestors and your ancestors when they mix together. They're different from your ancestors. I really are. So for you to think that, no, I have studied, I went to school, hey, hey, I've graduated and all that without even having brains. That's wrong to want to control someone else's life. Because you think, according to you, they're doing a wrong thing. Huh? What the fuck? It's time to change, woman. You know? It's time to change. Treat other people right. So there will be a better place. It's time. Because today is Father's Day. People are being out there in the tavern drinking and all that. Doing the same thing to girls. Picking up on girls, teasing and all that, and then yeah, the next thing, a girl is pregnant, and then who's gonna interfere? The mama's dad. Hey, hey, you are doing this to my son and all that. No, no, you you were not there unless you sent your kids out there to go bugger the kill, uh, girls. Yeah, you stand up for your child, even if they into some whole lot of wrong things. You be that kind of parent who will always be talking for wrong things. You know, because yeah, like some families, their intentions are just to protect their own without even knowing how this whole thing started. No, it's the girl's fault because the gold digger and all that. No, no, and this time of a gold digger, I mean, we are in this world to live, right? Like, yeah, this is the world of material things. Like, how are you going to live without having these material things? Because in heaven, that's where we're not going to need all these material things. So I don't understand how they can say somebody's a gold digger. You need money in this world. You need material things in this world. We have dreams to accomplish in this world. So I don't understand these labels when a woman is trying to make it for their own and they be calling and they be called gold diggers and all that. No. So, guys. Please, let's move forward from charging each other and be calling each other names and all that, you know. Everybody's got their own path and they're going to live it however they want, you know. Point is, if you want to fall in love with somebody else or if you want to date, tell them right from the start. Yo, girl, I just want to have fun. I don't want to get married. I'm still growing up. So... Don't you want us to get to know each other better so we date and all that? Let's not get married. Let's not have kids. Let's get to know each other better. Truth. Huh? Unlike promising a poor child that no, I will marry you. I will buy you a train that flies like a helicopter and all that. And it'd be like, no, guys, stop lying to girls. So they, get, they can get to make their own choices whether they want to date or fall in love. Or settle down or whatnot. There's nothing wrong with telling the truth, guys. You know? So, yeah, this Father's Day, I hope people change and break through this madness of every time going to the tavern and we drinking and, yeah, always be pulling out these girls and, yeah, making girls to dumb themselves down and all that, you know? Yeah, don't you think it's time to grow up? Don't you think this world needs a whole lot of genius people out there, genius brains? Instead of people who only think of whatever that's between their legs. No, you can't use that to think, right? Yeah, you can't really use that to think. How are you going to extend yourself if you're always using what's between your legs to think? No, like, I'm not really impressed with how things are going, especially with the mothers who advise their kids 
even when they are married on how to live their life you know i'm really really embarrassed on how this thing is operated a mother who can let go like what did you do to this kid what did you do what what are you doing are you human are you really really human yeah it just bugs me because like some women are not authentic at all guys so please like share and subscribe to the videos yeah ring a bell for more videos like this and yeah donate to the channel become a member so yeah do this every month so namaste guys so namaste later